Welcome back to the 200th episode of Let's Play 1001 Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and for those of you just joining us, this is a quest that I am on to play through the book 1001 video games you must play before you die. And of course, for episode 200, what other game could we play but Sonic the Hedgehog? And they've even got my little party horn here. As you guys can hear, I am celebrating today. Um, I may or may not be playing this game with a little birthday hat on, you know, those uh, those cone hats that you wear. Guys, when I first started this little series of mine, I I knew I was determined to go through the whole book, and but it's a huge challenge, so I wasn't sure how far I'd make it. Uh, we've made it to episode 200, which I think is a good sign, and I have no, there's no signs of me slowing down, so I am optimistic that we're going to make it. So we're 20% of our way through the book. And today, we're going to be playing, obviously, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So Sonic the Hedgehog 2 here has a special spot in my heart. It was the first Sega Genesis game I ever owned. I actually asked for a Sega Genesis for Christmas so I could get Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, oh, if you don't press start, it really goes quickly. That title screen does not linger. This game, he runs fast, and the game works fast. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start the game here while I actually talk. Now, Sonic the Sonic was actually the second official mascot of Sega. The first mascot was uh, a character named Alex the Kid, who some people know about, some people don't. But, uh, oh my god, right off the bat, got hit by a coconut. This is not a good sign. Uh, I, am, I am fairly good at this game. Uh, believe it or not, I know I say that every time I suck at a game, but really, I'm, I'm not bad at this one. I'm gonna avoid the coconut the second time. There we go. So the trick to this game is getting all the coins, or well, I guess they're rings, but come on, we know they're coins. Um, Sonic works quite a bit differently than Mario, because with Mario, <laughs> damn it again! This is not a good sign. Okay, oh, go, go away from me, monkey man. Man, I guess it's been a long time since I played Sonic. But for Mario, the coins are just sort of uh, affectations to like earn him extra lives if uh, if he wants. But in Sonic, the rings are basically health. And if you collect enough rings, you can get things like extra lives and other good fun things. Now you can run through this level super fast, but I always found as a kid, like when you go slow, you get way more rings and stuff. So here's uh, fast feet shoes that make you go really really fast and boom boom okay I think we have enough rings when you have 50 rings you open up a portal to the world of three dimensions look at this Sonic has three dimensions so here now we're in a bonus stage and if you collect enough rings then basically you will unlock a chaos emerald and in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 if you get enough chaos emeralds um, then you can go into Super Saiyan Sonic mode and I always remember me and my brother had a strategy in this part because... So here's another interesting fact about Sonic. Um, this is a one-player game, but if you have a second controller, the second player can control Tails. It's kind of like how the second player controller in Duck Hunt controls the duck. Um, so what we would do, me and my brother, is that we would both get on one side of the map, and so when we go around corners like that, we could get all the rings. Um, so he'd be on the left side of the the arena I'd be on the right now the downside of course is that if we get hit by those bomb things that we saw back there whoever has the rings loses them and so like if I got hit it was a big deal because I usually collect a lot more rings than him but it is pretty cool the idea that this is like a one-player game but you can basically play co-op I don't know of really any other co-op um, platformers back in the early early days I mean there were things like conference stuff but I'm talking like a Mario style game because Sonic really was developed as a competitor to Mario. <laughs> Fun fact, when they were developing Sonic the Hedgehog, yay, we got the, the Chaos Emerald. When they were developing Sonic the Hedgehog, the the team that was working on it, the code name for their project was Project Defeat Mario. That's not a joke. Like, how, you can't get much more direct than that. It's like, the code name is Project Defeat Nintendo, basically. Okay. So again, we could go through this more slowly, or more quickly, but we're taking the slow route because we don't want to miss out on all the secret awesome stuff. Like that. Now we need the rings. 
This may seem really tedious, but in these early levels, you basically want to get as many of the Chaos Emeralds as you can. Like, if we find another one of those, um, another one of those, uh, like, little ring things, we could go into the bonus stage again and get another Chaos Emerald. Oh god. Oh god! They really wanted you to die right there. So we have 47 rings. Okay, we got 50. We just need to find another one of those checkpointy things, and we will have our second Chaos Emerald. I don't know if there is one. Oh, here we go. Boom. Bonus stage number two. This is how you did it back in the day, guys. See, now we're on a different bonus stage. If we failed to get the Chaos Emerald, then we would have uh, basically been back at the previous bonus stage, but we don't fail. Uh, the first few bonus stages are not bad, but they get progressively more challenging, as you can imagine. Like this. Man, it's like motor memory. It's like all coming back to me. I think I did these early bonus stages a lot. I like how you can also like go like around the top. It's pretty fun. It's because Sonic is running so fast, gravity can't keep up. Oh, Tails, you idiot! Why did you jump? Oh no, we missed so many! No! Okay, things are going bad now. Oh god. Jump, Tails, you fool. I like how they turn into just like solid balls when they jump pretty awesome okay we, we really gotta like concentrate here to make sure we get enough oh man I guess we actually did pretty well we really bombed that middle there though move tails <laughs> when the computer's in control of tails he sort of has a bit of a delay like he will mimic Sonic's moves oh tails you idiot you idiot Oh man, I almost got bombed there too. These these turns and hills are dangerous. Jeez. Yeah, Chaos Emerald number two. Man, we're rocking this. I I didn't have hopes that we would actually finish Sonic 2 on this playthrough, but two Chaos Emeralds right off the bat. And we earned an extra life? That's badass, man. So now what you could do is like go back in the level and collect all the rings that you got last time. If you end a level with 100 rings, you don't get an extra life in Sonic, you get an extra continue, which is pretty significant. But in the interest of uh, carrying forward with the game, we're not going to do that. Yeah, <laughs> Tails. Tails can't be killed in this game. He is an immortal, basically, which was always handy for the second player. Um, one other trick, if you have like a little brother or something, is give them the second controller so they can control Tails, and then have him take out the boss, Dr. Robotnik, because essentially, because he's invincible, you don't have to worry about the boss killing him. So especially if you're on a boss, it's hard. Oh, there's another ring thing up there. Like we could in theory, if we could get up there, we could get another Chaos Emerald. I also like this move, you hold down and you press like the jump button. And Sonic does like a little uh, build up of speed. Oh god! Whew! 76 rings. We're like 20 away from a uh, continue here. I think this is the end though, yeah. Alright, well, whatever. Whoop. We beat it! We flipped around a sign, and that sufficiently angered Dr. Robotnik, or Eggman, I guess, depending on the country you stand in. I never understood why Dr. Robotnik was called Eggman in Japan. Seemed like a really weird name for the guy, but apparently the reason that uh, he's called Eggman and Robotnik in different territories is because the Japanese team thought he should be called Eggman, and the American team thought he should be called Robotnik, and they just couldn't agree, and so he got called both. I think subsequently they have like retconned it to say that like his official name is like Ivan something Robotnik. Ah, oh, you damn stupid little monkey. Ivan something Robotnik. But uh, his like nickname is Eggman, and they call him Eggman more in like uh, in, so in more modern Sonic games. But like honestly, he will always be Robotnik. He's never gonna be Eggman. Just get over it. Um, you guys done messed up when you called him Robotnik, and for now forevermore in my mind, he will always be Robotnik. So yeah, this was this was the the Sega Genesis game I owned, man. See, so this is how you can do the level. Okay, let's do a level like quickly. If you're not trying to like actually get all the Chaos Emeralds and stuff, and you just like run through a level quickly, it looks more like this. Here you go, wee! And this was like a big selling point back in the day. People were like, whoa, it's so fast. It's faster than Mario. Well, what's happening here? What the? That's weird.
Ooh. Uh, we're gonna skip that, because I think this is the boss, yeah. We could have gotten another Chaos Emerald, I guess. But instead, I want the 87 rings so I can kill Fat Boy in his car. Actually, maybe I should have got the Chaos Emerald, because it's not like he's gonna hit me. It's, it's like the worst, the worst strategy ever. He's literally just trying to run me over with his car. This is like vehicular manslaughter. Or vehicular hedgehog slaughter. Tails, you idiot. Good thing you're immortal, Tails. Because you wouldn't live otherwise. Or Bondic's like, no, my car! Good thing my car turns into a helicopter! Which is kind of a cheat. And now in his robot box was a bunch of animals. And for some reason, that solves all the problems. Guess there's not gonna be any more problems. So I guess, I guess Robotnik's like end game strategy. Hey, we got an extra continue. His like end game strategy was he was capturing all these like little woodland creatures and putting them in robots. Um, I don't know why. And once the creatures are in the robots, why are they helping him? Cause like the robots that I'm fighting and killing, those are the robots that uh, Robotnik has been doing stuff to, so. I don't 100% get what's going on in this game. I want to get on this platform because I just want to know what's up here. What did I come up here for? Anything? Anything? No, nothing. So we went from Green Hill Zone, which is like a t you know a typical like Mario level, where it's like nice and green hills and it's like a fantasy world. So now we're in like a chemical plant that's like polluting the earth and destroying the environment. Sonic has much more sort of adult themed levels than Mario. Like look at. Mario would never find him in a place like this. I feel like if he did, he would, like, die to, like, a factory industrial accident or something. Um, also, you guys like the music in Sonic the Hedgehog 2? I think it's totally awesome. Um, again, I love Mario's music, but Sonic the Hedgehog's music just sort of sounds a little more adult, a little more, like, aggressive. Um, and it was actually music that was developed by a, ba a Japanese band called Dreams Come True. Like, it was... Which I think is a fairly... Actually, I don't even know anything about the band, but I just, I, I remember reading that I think they're supposed to be, like, a fairly big deal. At least for, like, a, a, a group that, like, made video game music. So, in the Green Hill Zone, I used to take my time and, like, um, you know, woo, get all the Chaos Emeralds and stuff. In the Chemical Zone here, I would always just sort of, like, run through it, like I just did there. What's totally weird is Sonic the Hedgehog levels have always felt like a maze to me. Like, if I'm playing a Mario level, I know exactly what's coming up in every single part of the level. Like, I know the levels by heart. You could show me a screenshot of any level from Mario 1, 2, or 3, and I would know exactly what level you're on. This, in Sonic, I always felt like the levels felt like mazes, and they all looked alike. And I could, like, never tell where I was in any world. Like, I don't know what part of the level I'm at right now, or, like, what's coming up. I have, like, weird instincts, though, because I guess I've played this level so much. So, like, at some level I know what's coming up. Like, my mind knows there's stuff over here, so I need to do this. But, like, if you had asked me, I could not draw a level of this map. Like, again, like, think of any Mario 1 level. Like, you could actually draw out a map of that level. Sonic levels are so confusing. They're like these big twisty mazes of, like, randomness, and, like, you never know where anything is. Well, that's weird. Wee wee! Now it's always good for Sonic to turn into ball form, like this. If you're not in ball form and an enemy hits you, you take a hit. But if you're curled up like a ball, then they take a hit. So you always want to be the one in the ball. These things are cool. They always remind me of the uh, Micro Machines uh, little toys that you could get as a kid and you put a Micro Machine car in it and the car would go bing like that. They just like rocket it forward. Oh no! What the? Oh god, I thought I just glitched the game out. What's happening with my game here? I've never seen these things before. Okay, we're gonna skip the bonus stage because I want to get 100 rings. Extra life, baby! Now, if we can pass the level with 100 rings, then we also get a continue, I believe. This is the only part of the game where you have to intentionally go slow. And it is actually kind of a bitch. Whee! Whoa, the screen couldn't even keep up with me. Did you guys see that? Uh oh, everyone's favorite part of a Sonic game, the underwater parts, where he can potentially drown. I remember this part as a kid, you needed a lot of patience, because if you tried to rush through this, you would just drown. Think. There we go. We didn't even get to the, like, do-do-do-do-do-do-do sound effects. 
Maybe we should do that. I guess we'll have another level where we'll be underwater. You guys will hear that. Oh, no! Oh, God, this is bad. Okay, you might hear the underwater sound effect now. I'm getting too cocky is what it is. Just gotta be patient. Sonic can hold his breath. Oh, we're totally here. There it is. The underwater sound effect. Everyone's favorite sonic sound effect. There we go, okay. Sonic is, is built for running fast, but he's not built for like precision platform jumping. That's more of a Mario task. Like Sonic does this. He curls into a ball and moves as fast as he possibly can. That's his Evo. Mario's like precision jumps. Sonic is like, just make me go fast. Point me in a direction and make me go fast, chief. Ah, there we go. I think we're at the boss now. Yeah, I'm going slow because of that. So we can instantly die here if we fall into that pit, which is a bit of a problem. Hopefully it doesn't come to- Oh! Oh god! Oh god! That almost messed me up like bad. Oh god, thank god he died. Woo, my palms are like a little sweaty. Okay, let's just get away from that, yeah. One of the few things in Sonic the Hedgehog that's like an insta-death is like falling in a pit. And very few levels have them. It's not like a common thing in Sonic games. It's like this level. Now we do our victory spin. We just sit here and spin forever. Nether extra life. Got a bonus continue. We're just racking it up, guys. Racking it up. You know, we were talking about how Dr. Robotnik was called Eggman in Japan. Ah, oh, damn it. I feel like every level I'm getting hit right at the beginning. Well, I don't want to show about too much for you guys, so I'm trying to, like, uh, be, uh, be very humble in my gameplay here. But we were talking about how Dr. Robotnik, um, is called Eggman in Japan. And when you come, when you think about it, actually, that's like a typical MO in Japanese games, isn't it? Like, um, King Koopa, or, or Bowser was called King Koopa in Japan. And, like, Princess Peach was, no, Princess Toadstool was called Princess Peach. Like, for some reason, the Japanese just want to name everything different. I don't know what it is. Whoa! That was luck. That was straight up luck. Now we're running into a wall. Just curl into a ball for safety. Oh! It was not safe enough. Oh, well, what do we care about rings here? We already got, like, a billion extra lives and stuff. Oh, God. Oh! There's, like, a random arrow in there. Okay. The one nice thing is after you get hit, you can uh, totally just pick up one of the rings that bounced off of you. And as long as you can constantly pick up at least one ring, you'll be fine. Whee! <laughs> that was a high bounce. Aw, oh, it didn't bounce me. Okay, we, we passed that level with only five rings, but we passed it. That's the key thing. In Sonic, it's not about... Being amazing, it's about just running through the levels. Sonic is the original speedrunner, in fact. He he taught a generation of kids to just go for it. Forget about trying to collect everything and just run. Oh, God. Okay, when you're underwater, you got to pay attention to these little bubble things because you got to go... Whoop, 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 and, like, suck up the air. Anytime you see one, you got to refresh because you don't know when the next one's coming. Oh, God. Man, we got through a lot of that level pretty easily. Here we go. This is the secret to not dying in the water levels. Just be very cognizant of where those bubbles are. And like, we just got a bubble, but I'm gonna wait for the next one here too. Because dying is something I prefer not to do. And now I'm gonna wait for another bubble because I just got distracted. Come on. Thank you. And can we... No, I don't think we can go up that way. Okay. Oh, there's a whole bunch of arrows coming for me. Oh, God. Okay, now I do need uh, an air bubble. <laughs> Trouble's ensuing. Come on. Give it to me. Thank you. Okay, we're going to wait for another one. We're doing this one like super cautious here. There we go. Now we move. Where's Tails? I think Tails just drowned. He's like nowhere to be seen. He's not like hanging out behind me. He's like just gone. 
Or maybe he's like out of the water and he's just watching me. He's like, what an idiot, Sonic. Oh, what the hell was that? And I'm also in a wall. Ooh, extra life. Okay, I'll take it. You stupid bugs actually helped me. Thank you. Also, when you free it, it's like a little penguin bird inside and he flies away. He's like, thank you, you freed me. Sorry for trying to kill you. There we go, we're at the boss. <laughs> These levels take like no time at all. Oh, I should have. I should have stayed on top of that thing. So for this level, you gotta do this. Boom! Boom! Ah, oh, the arrow hit me. What the hell, man? Can we just bounce back onto this thing? Yeah, we can. Boom! Oh, he's done! He's done, I figured this thing out, man. Come on, Dr. R. Your plans suck. They're cartoonishly bad. Hit me with a car, drop chemical water on me, and then hit me with a giant mallet. Where do you shopping? Acme Emporium? And we freed all the little birds. Now they'll never turn into robots, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of like Dr. Robotnik just going around giving little animals, like, mecha suits. <laughs> Talk about adult levels that would not sort of be, like, uh, fitting in Mario. Now we have like a casino stage. This one's always funny too. It's like Sonic's into like chemicals and like hardcore gambling. He's got like a substance abuse problem. Like Sega went really hardcore with him. They're like, this ain't your papa's Mario. This hedgehog's got demons. He's an addicted gambler. He's got demons he's wrestling with. This is always fun. You could go into the slot machine and you could like if you bounce around the slot machine long enough, you'll just get, like, infinite uh, coins and stuff. Like, it is possible to lose all your coins. Um, if you get, like, three Robotniks and all these, like, little beetles come up and eat you, and you lose all your coins. But, uh, in theory... No, I'm just gonna lose them all. <laughs> yeah, I see. And you're like, no! But it doesn't matter. You can just keep doing that forever, and eventually you'll get extra lives. Um, we're not gonna do that, though, because uh, we've seen it all. Sonic and Miles! See, we're such, we're such problem gamblers that they even know us in Vegas. They have, like, our names are, like, plastered all over the place. We're like, just, just let us, we just need one more, Chief. One more. We'll tell you when we had enough. Where's, where's Moxie? Where's our gal Friday? Oh, no. <laughs> we want this. At Casino Land. What was that? That oh, was this guy. How do we kill him? Oh, he's very protective of his head and front. Now he's dead. Maybe the animals don't want me to like take them out of their robot suits because it would. Imagine you were like a chipmunk and some guy showed up and like here's a giant mech suit. Enjoy. That would be like badass. Maybe the animals aren't doing Robotnik's evil bidding. It's like they just kind of turn a little evil. Um, what did I tell you about these levels being mazes? By the way, I have no idea where I'm going. But maybe they just turned a little evil when they got those mecha suits because they're like drunk with power. They're like, I was a but a lowly chipmunk, now I am the bully. And then they go and they seek out like the fox that tormented them all their childhood. They're like, how now, Terrence? How now? And then they beat him up with all their mecha powers. Maybe. Maybe Sonic's a dick and he just doesn't want other animals, other woodland creatures having power. He's like, only I get to be fast and strong. The rest of you must be weak and subservient. Let's go into our elevator here. Where's our penthouse suite? I feel like we should get it comped. We are Sonic the Hedgehog, after all. Also, this game, like, is it, this level is an interesting confusion of casinos, slot machines, and uh, pinball. Whee! Let's get this. Ah, uh, I was trying to get 100 rings, whatever. I didn't know if this was the end of the level or not. Sonic games have a lot of those, like, bumpy things. Like, every level has its own, like, little bumpy, springy thing that just makes you go fast. Whee! Like this. There's so many, like, convenient little mechanisms that are like, oh yeah, this thing makes you go fast, too. Imagine the real world was, like, littered with all these bumpers and stuff. Weird. People would just be bouncing all over the streets. Oh yeah, here's here's the easy spot for getting uh, 
a hundred coins. Okay. When that doesn't happen to you. See, but those will never kill you. So you can just keep doing this literally forever. Oh, only two rings. A Robotnik, a Sonic, and Bar. I've never understood slot machines because like, how does that get you anything? I don't know. Slot machines seem like the dumbest thing to me. <laughs> I, you know, like, I don't know. I'm not a gambler. But if I was, I feel like I'd want to gamble against other gamblers. I wouldn't want to gamble against, like, a machine. Because the truth is, you have no idea what's going on in that machine. Is the machine actually going to give you fair odds? You don't know. All you know is pull a lever and maybe you win. But you know the casinos are rigged to make casinos money, right? So it's like, for every $20 you put in, maybe you'll get 18 back on average. So I never understood the appeal of slot machines in reality, I don't know. Like in this game, whatever. Like, we're gonna keep doing this till we get an extra life, just cause I wanted to show you guys. Oh, although it's gonna take a while at this pace. All we need is three of those jackpots. They're hard to get though. Jackpot, jackpot! Whoa, speak of the devil! Extra life, baby! Boom! That was like 150 rings. All right, that's good enough for me. I'm satisfied. Oh wait, no, don't go back in there. The Robotnik guys might get you. Kind of want to bounce up to the higher level. There we go, there we go, boom. Now we just need to get 20 more, 28 more rings and we get another extra life. That's how Sonic does, man. This is what you should do as a gambler, is walk away when you hit that big score. Just walk away, man. It's never gonna get any better. You're just gonna lose all your money. That's what Sonic the Hedgehog taught me. Notice that this one has three jackpots too. It's because all the casinos in the level use the same, like, uh, sort of, uh, or all the slot machines use the same, like, slot machine readout. Okay, I guess we can't go that way. Can we go this way? Look at this, though. This is handy. Okay, bounce up. Blink, blink. <laughs> I wonder what Robotnik was thinking. He's like, I'll just hide in Vegas. Sonic will never look to find me here. Oh no, don't go in there. We'll lose all our, our rings. I guess we should be trying to collect more of the Chaos Emeralds. So if you get all the Chaos Emeralds, Sonic goes super Sonic and he turns yellow. Another extra life. And he can't be killed by anything, but I think he slowly runs out of coins, I think, or rings. I keep calling them coins. They're coins. I think that's what it is though. Oh, okay. Where do I go now? See, this is what I mean about Sonic levels being a total maze. I think we go down here. I remember this. Can you run out of time in Sonic levels? I totally forget. I think there might be like a limit of 10 minutes per level. Like they don't want you playing any level longer than 10 minutes. I seem to recall. Because otherwise you could stay on this casino level literally forever and get infinite ranks. You could just play that slot machine until eventually you get infinite ranks. Too bad there's no like cash out your chips option. Like Sonic has 200 rings. There should be an option for him to like uh, cash those out. Okay, now we have to sort of. Ah, oh, no, we're gonna lose all our rings, aren't we? Oh God, watch out for those things. No, oh God. Keep it together, Jay. Oh my God. 200 rings are at stake, boys. I knew the casino would find a way to screw us. It's like the pit boss who comes out when you're winning too much. Oh, God. What casinos do when you do win is I think they like try and give you like free stays at the casino to keep you gambling. Because they know on a long enough timeline, they'll win their money back. Okay, we're doing okay here. Oh, God. Okay. Man, I feel like he's taking more hits than he did on the previous levels. There we go, boom! I get to keep my winnings, robot dick! Let's free all the animals. Show them all our sweet rings. That'd be cool if a country really did have rings as a currency. Although it'd probably be inconvenient. Even coins, even like paper money these days, nobody has that, it's all, it's all plastic. Burning, we're up to 10 lives, holy jeez. We're just burning through this game. Okay, now we get to the levels that like I'm not as good at. Like this hilltop level. I don't know, I don't really... Actually, I guess I do remember this one. 
get him to launch his little uh, hat into the sky. Yeah, this one has a... Uh, whoa, God. These things. It's like from the old Acme cartoons. Boink! <laughs> um, okay. We could continue. I think I saw a spring over there to the left. I was going to say we could explore more, but... Um, I think the more I explore on a level like this, the more I die. Hold on. We need some height here. And we go like this. Ah! Because there's something up there, you see it? We're gonna get it. We're gonna get to the bottom of this, but, but also the top. Yes! Yes! What's over here? Stuff! Yeah! Now this is the Sonic music I remember. This is like, Sonic is in charge, baby. Oh god! Oh! Oh god! Let us on! Let us on! <laughs> Tails is like, I'm burning alive! Luckily I had invincibility there though. I like how this guy- I like how these guys, their MO is to like literally stand there and just look a little upset. Like look at their faces, they're just little glowing angry red dots. It's like I'm so mad at the world right now. They turned me into a dot and left me on this platform to die. The annoying thing about these is Tails can jump on them and initiate them and then run off a cliff and die. And then you're just left there as Sonic standing there like, what the hell, Tails? Oh, these are cool. Boom! Burns! That's so satisfying. Dig into the ground. Sonic is a beast, man. Once he turns into a little ball, like, nothing can stop him. Oh, God. <laughs> it's easier just to jump over those things. Like, if I let Tails jump on that, he could initiate it. Oh, Tails just committed suicide. We, I guess we haven't been paying attention to that, but Tails commits suicide an awful lot in this game. Oh shoot, do we have to go this way? Oh no! Jump! Oh man, we got an extra life? Holy crap! Oh, oh god, what's, what's happening? Oh, sweet. That was so scary, there were spikes and springs and I just barely made it through. Again, Sonic's mentality is just like, go fast and hope for the best. That was a cool part too, where like the ground is raising. You have to like race to get out of here. Oh no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm getting so lucky in this game, it's crazy. Whoa! I guess we're just done the level. It's like, bam, by the way, you're you're just done. It like jumps you over half the level. Like even as an adult, I don't know if I fully explored Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I don't know if I've seen all the nooks and crannies of every level. I'm sure there's some I haven't seen. Hilltop Zone 2. I feel like there eventually we're gonna hit a level where I'm gonna start to do really bad. I'm trying to think of what's coming up next. There's like a mine. Oh, there's like an octopus level that I hate. Oil, oil fields or something. That one's hard. That might be the place where we burn all these lives we've been earning. Blink. See you later, chicken. You should pay attention to the animals that come out of each of these things. That was like the laziest hill ever. Sonic was like, eh, I guess I'll go through this one. Anything up here? Oh, jeez. I like how when you slow him down, he has like a little cartoony, like he, he has to like put his feet as a break. Okay, whatever. Oh, this guy. He's gonna throw all his fire at us and jokes on him. He's gonna be defenseless. Now what, buddy? Oh, Tails, you killed him, buddy. You killed him. I was just gonna toy with him. But you straight up mur murdered him, man. Tails has anger issues. He's like, I've had enough of this crap. If they're gonna try and kill me, I'm gonna straight up kill them. Oh, Tails. Tails, buddy, hold on. Oh, shoot. That was, that was not worth it. We already had one of these. Oh, God! Hold on, Tails! No! All our coins! Oh, we don't have a single one! There we go. Okay, we got one. Oh, no, Tails. We're going... We keep going in the wrong direction, buddy. This could be it, my friend. My double-tailed friend. Yeah, in case you didn't notice, Tails has two tails. And he just died. <laughs> Tails has died a thousand deaths. Yeah, look at him. I always thought Tails actually looked a bit cooler than Sonic. Because he has like two tails, he can fly. Um, too bad you can't fly when you actually control him. Oh yeah! <laughs> Why did they put this in? This is pretty funny though. Whee! 
Whoa! <laughs> Tails is dying all over the place. Try to keep up, little pup. Yeah, he's not coming back. I think Tails is really dead. So I remember uh, as a kid, um, this game was awesome in and of itself. Made me want to buy a Sega Genesis, and I asked for it for Christmas and got one. And then I just spent like all of Christmas break playing it. Those were good times. Remember, you get like a game console as a kid, and you just literally sit around uh, playing nothing but the game console. <clears throat> and uh, then, oh Jesus! Oh my God! No! No! Oh God! Uh, we have no rings. This is problematic. Okay, we gotta kill this guy the old-fashioned way by not sucking. Okay. This should be pretty easy. Robotnik is not actually very difficult as a boss. There you go. He went down to no problem at all. Um, <clears throat> but Sonic 2 was awesome. And then, a couple years later, they came out with Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic and Knuckles was another game where there was a new character, Knuckles the Enchilada, who could kind of like float or fly. But it was like a game genie where like you could plug cartridges into the top of Sonic and Knuckles. And if you plugged in Sonic 2, or I think Sonic 1 as well, but definitely Sonic 2, then all of a sudden you could replay Sonic 2 as Knuckles. It was kind of a mind-blowing affair when this thing came out. It was like, are you kidding me? Like all of a sudden I can play Sonic 2 again? and I can be a totally different character? That is mind-blowingly awesome. Um, I, I, don't, I can't think of any other game that really did something like that. I mean, these days it would be like DLC. It was like a really early version of DLC. It was like, hey, you get to play this game as like a new character. Um, only it was back in the day before the internet, so, uh, you know. It was cool, basically. And yeah, I, I remember I never owned Sonic and Knuckles, but there was, there was a Sears that was like in a mall near our house. And in the summers, when me and my brother were left home alone, sometimes we would walk over to the Sears and like play the Sega Genesis, um, just so we could play. Oh shoot, why did I, why did you stand there? That was dumb. Wow. Uh, but we'd walk over just to play the, uh, play the Sonic and Knuckles. And we'd just like play for hours in the afternoon, just stand there in the middle of the day in the summer. That was actually another awesome thing about being a kid. I remember like we met a couple kids that way. Like there would be a couple other kids that would do what we did and they and eventually we'd recognize them and we would like play the game together. We'd have strategies on different levels and stuff because we were all coming to the Sears. So, like Sears must have known what was happening. Like obviously they knew. There's like a bunch of kids showing up periodically to like just play their Sega Genesis. Uh, it's actually hilarious to think about. This is what you did when you were a kid, and uh, and you didn't have all the video games you wanted. Like you you literally went to random department stores and <laughs> played on their consoles. It's kind of like the setups they have these days, like at Best Buy or or Target or whatever. Like they still have uh, like Nintendo Wii set up and stuff, so you can go play games. But yeah, I guess that means we were poor kids. But I mean, we were poor, but we weren't, like, poor, poor. Like, I don't want to make out like we were destitute or anything. Like, we did okay. But, um, you know, I don't know. It was fun times as a kid. Those summer times were great when you were just kind of, like, left your own devices for, like, months at a time. Because uh, my parents worked. So, like, in the summer, me and my brother just, like, hung out at home all day. Um, it was just, like, months of doing nothing, really. My parents tried to send us to summer camp a couple times, but that didn't really work. We were not having any of that. Because, like, why would we want to go to summer camp? We could just stay home and play video games and watch TV all day. <laughs> My parents hated it, obviously. I think they wanted us out of the house. But, uh, no. No summer camp for us. Uh, hello. Take that. Take this. More invincibility! Double invincibility! Double rainbows all the way across the sky, right? Am I going the right way or the wrong way? I don't even know. I'm going to the left, which is usually a bad sign in video games. You want to always be going to the right, but... Again, these Sonic levels are like mazes, so... I don't know. I'm trying to think of what the boss... Oh, God! Oh, no! This was a trap! We were trapped! Damn it! Oh, no, our first real death. Damn. Okay, we got to pay better attention. We don't want to die like that again. That was such a, such a sad way to go. 
Look at these these stupid bird heads. They're just like trying to like trick us. It looks like there's nothing over there, and then all of a sudden, whoa, there's a bird head jutting out of the the wall. Oh, these are fun. They're like the uh, little office toy with like the bouncing uh, ball bearing ball bearings. Okay, we're gonna go up this time. I think last time we went down, it did not bode well. So I think in the, for the NES, games could only scroll left or right, um, or up or down. So that's why, like in Mario 2, the levels either go left or right, or they go up and down, but they never do both. And I think it was a big deal. Mario had like a Mario 3 had a special chip to let's do a bonus level again. We haven't done one in a while. Had a special chip to allow you to um, go in, in both directions. But like Sonic the Hedgehog here, like compared to Mario 3, it has like way better graphics um, and it's way more advanced. So yeah, like, oh God, <laughs> I, I went to scratch my leg and it cost me some coins. Should not scratch in the middle of a bonus level. Tail, stop losing rings, buddy. Stop losing rings, you, you fool, or I'll beat them out of you. It's more than one way to get rings in Sonic the Hedgehog land. I can beat them out of my compadre here. But yeah, there was all the like debate about what's better, Sega Genesis or Nintendo. I remember back in the day, like Genesis does what Nintendo don't. And like I always like both systems. But like the Sega Genesis was obviously more advanced than the NES. But the the Super Nintendo, I think, was obviously more advanced than the Sega Genesis, so. Um, and I I was never a huge fan, I must admit, of the Sega Genesis controller. Like I did always find the oh man he's he's losing rings okay we, we only need six more rings tails Whew. we're cutting it close um i was never a big fan of the sega genesis controller i always like the nes controller a little better i've talked about this before the sega genesis controller just the shape of it doesn't quite work for me i don't know why um ooh. no 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 get him get him get him tails tails Get the coins, buddy! Get the coins! No, don't lose them! It's the opposite of what I told you to do. Oh, we didn't get enough. That Chaos Emeralds, it's like, sorry, boys, not for you. Oh, well. I was only ever really good at the first couple of stages of the special stages. Um, if you did want to collect all the Chaos Emeralds, it, you really had to strategize the levels differently. Like, you didn't run through levels. You collected... Oh my god! You didn't do that. You would collect like 50 coins and then you would intentionally go look for a save spot and then if you failed you would collect 50 more and look for another save spot and so on so... Whoa! That was an impatient jump. I could have waited for that platform to come back but I didn't. Um... Sucka! Oh get out of here little bug. Oh god. That was a risky move, because that thing had not lit up yet, and I didn't know when it was going to light up. Oh, God. Even the platforms have spikes on them. Well, it doesn't really matter. As long as we make it to the boss, we're good. And I think we're almost there. Oh, these are fun. Wee! I always like these things. <laughs> it's kind of fun to have them bounce around. I mean, it's a very fun, satisfying game. But, uh, but yeah, never never really cared for the Sega Genesis controller, but the Super Nintendo controller is definitely my favorite um, of the classic retro game controllers. I mean, these days, I think, like, Xbox or PS4 controller is obviously now my favorite controller, because, like, with modern games, you need the analog sticks. But should we give it another shot? Nah, forget it. We're just going to lose our rings, and I think we're at the boss right now. Apparently. Yep, here we're here. And we have a force field and stuff. Oh yeah, so this one, things come out of the, come out of the ceiling. Oh, oh no. no. We only get two hits on them. Well, that's, that's okay. Just watch out for the spiky things. Pretty easy to dodge, really. No, get them. Tails, earn your keep, earn your keep. Oh yeah, we killed them. So easy. <laughs> The bosses in Sonic are not challenging. It's always Robotnik with like a new a new trap. Like, what is he thinking? When he's developing these things, he's like, this one's gonna be so good, I'm gonna drill into the sky, move at him slowly, and then drill into the sky into the ceiling some more. 
Okay, here we go, oil ocean. I, you know what, by the way, I did not think I would get this far in Sonic the Hedgehog, so I'm, I'm actually pretty happy about this. Every time I play one of these games in my series here, I try, oh yeah, there's like a fan there blowing you above the sky, that's pretty cool. I try and get as far as I can in each game, because really, I just want to like show you guys as much gameplay as I can. Oh no, <laughs> Tails, you, you messed me up. Oh Tails, you screwed me up hardcore, buddy. By destroying that little breakable bridge. Okay. Um, because this series is not necessarily about finishing games, but it's about trying and seeing games. It's about experiencing the thousand and one games. Um, but that said, I mean, I do like to finish games if I can, or get, get decently far in them. So, I sat down today being like, yeah, we'll play some Sonic 2, we'll get as far as we can, that'll be fun. Um, but we're getting pretty far. I guess it's because I'm such a badass at this game, like... I mean, I'm a very humble person by nature, but um, basically nobody's better than me at Sonic 2. Um, I'm just too good, and sometimes it's kind of a curse being as good as I am at this game, but I tend to view it as like a blessing. It's, it's sort of like, you know, the curse you bear. Like, yeah, I'm awesome at Sonic 2, I know it, and you know, I just, I try and live my life as like a normal person as best I can, but... It's hard. It's hard when you have elite skills like this to just not constantly be pwning at Sonic 2, but, you know, I do my best. And I think I do pretty good. If I, if I can brag for just a little second, I think I do pretty good at being humble about my skills at Sonic 2. So, whoa! Oh, whoa. And see, like, a, a noob would not have just done what I did there and succeeded. It would have failed. But I'm not a noob. So I succeeded, and I got to the secret el- This is- this elevator, by the way? Most people in the game can't get to this elevator. So it's pretty impressive that I made it. Um, I'm pretty- I'm, I'm happy I have that on uh, recording for video evidence. Oh god, what's happening? There's something wrong with my controller here. I wasn't able to jump to the right. That is weird. All right, we just had a little glitch with our controller there. That's all sorted out now, though. I mean, I, again, I'm doing so good at the game that the game is trying to stop me, but you can't stop, you can't stop somebody this humble. Ah, there we go. This is, I assume, is the way to go. Oh, look, invincibility. I didn't need it, but I'll take it. <laughs> so if the early levels, oh, they tease, they taunt you with an extra life there, but they're like, but you can't get it. You're stuck in these, like, these are like the Donkey Kong barrels in Donkey Kong Country, where, like, there's a bunch of barrels that shoot you in all all which way, and you've no no control over what goes on. Actually, that's another really fun game, Donkey Kong Country. I need to play that at some point. Okay, am I going the right way? Because the bad guys are facing away from me now. <laughs> Makes me question if I'm even going in the right direction. But I found one of these things, so I'll assume yes. Now, if you thought the early levels were a maze, I mean, like, try drawing this level out. I have no idea where I am or what's going on fan was kind of blowing me back there, being rude to me. So yeah, I don't know, Sonic games... <laughs> oh, there we go, we passed the level. The levels are always kind of like, ah, you just kind of go in whatever direction you can until the level just sort of ends. <laughs> That's kind of what they are. Um, again, like, you know, back in, in Mario, though, like, you can plan your way through different levels because they sort of have very clear beginning, middle, and ends. Far more linear. I guess the thing is with Sonic levels is they're very non-linear. There's multiple routes you can go and stuff, and they go in all which way, like multiple directions and stuff, so it's very unclear where you are at any point uh, of a level. Can we get up into this thing? Come on, let me in! <laughs> let me in! Blink. Can we... Is there anything to do over there? No. There's just like a spike down there that will kill me. I can see it. Oh! Okay, that's how you get in those things. Noted. Now, the music in this level, too, is pretty damn cool. I mean, I've already talked about how neat the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 music generally is, damn it. And it's by that band, Dreams May Come. But, like, every every level has, like, a very distinctive... This always, this always sounded a little Egy Egyptian to me, actually. Like, if you guys listen to the music, doesn't it sound a little Egyptian? But I guess it kind of fits with, like, an oil field. I don't know. Maybe I've just played so much Sonic that this, it feels right, but really it shouldn't. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, I'm, like, down in oil. Okay. My Sonic 2 skills may not be as good as I said they were. 
In fact, they may just be mediocre at best. Oh no! Oh, we have no rings! Okay, I'm doing worse and worse. Oh good, the game decided to take pity on me. Oh, what are you- I landed on that! I landed on this! How did I fall through this? To land on the fire beneath it? I didn't even know that was possible. Oh, okay. Invincibility this time. It's like, alright, here's your second shot at a freebie. You get the feeling the game's just taking pity on you at some point. Again, the enemies are all facing away from me, so I don't know if this is the right way to go. But I'm gonna go for it. The trick is to just not fall into the pit of despair down there. See, this is another level where, like, you can go fast, but sometimes it behooves you to slow things down. Now, which way? That's the key question. Haven't seen these things before. In, in uh, games like Doom, you kind of look for enemies that haven't been killed, and that's the direction you know to go. In Sonic, it's more about finding rings that have not yet been picked up. We'll hit that so we have a checkpoint. Those are actually checkpoints, by the way. I don't think we've ever really used one as such, but yeah, they're checkpoints so that if you, uh, if you die, you go back to the checkpoint. Boom! One to the face, Robotnik. He's in a sub now. If this man... Instead of trying to kill a random hedgehog... Ah, oh, damn it. Instead of trying to kill a random hedgehog, if this man, like, set his scientific genius to, like, helping humanity, like, the things he's making are pretty damn impressive. He could, like, do a lot of good, I think. Oh, we got, like, five hits on him there. Oh, man, he's going down in no time. We may only have one ring, but it's our... It's our power ring, man. Oh, God. Shoot! Oh, God. Oh, that almost hit me. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> no, he came hard for me on that one. Alright, he's dead. The oil's kind of cool. Like, you kind of sink in it. It's like quicksand. I guess you die if, if you go too far down, but we're not going to die. It would suck to die after killing Robotnik. Which I guess is actually possible in Sonic the Hedgehog games. The tip for spinning up here really fast is to use two fingers, because every button in Sonic is jump, and if you're holding down, every button is spin. So you could like tap with like your index and your middle finger. Oh, Metropolis Zone. Now we're back into like a hardcore factory. I always love this music though too. Do 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 Oh, what the hell got me? There's like a starfish in the wall exploded. Those are like suicide enemies. Oh, this crab has one giant hand and he managed to punch me with it. They're like, our only defense now is to explode ourselves before Sonic does it to us. <laughs> oh, these are always fun too. They're gonna bounce you up. Oh, there's like a praying mantis. Wait, why would you take a penguin and put it into another animal? Oh, geez. <laughs> Dodged a bullet there, or actually more aptly, dodged a knife to the gut. Those are fun too. A lot of neat mechanics in this game that, like, they don't really do anything. Like, a, a lesser game would have just had a bridge there, but instead in Sonic, they make it like a giant tube where you, like, spin in three dimensions. Like, that could have just been an elevator. But, like, they find fun ways to, like, make you move around. Like that. It could just be a bridge. But nope, in Sonic, they had to make it cool. It's like a hamster wheel. He likes it in there. He feels at peace. It's his meditation spot. Whee! Oh, this is cool too. You gotta like run here to make the screw go up the thing. Oh, Tails, you're going in the opposite direction, man. Oh, Tails, you got us killed. How are we supposed to get up there now, Tails? They leave you some nice suicide spikes so we can kill ourselves. Okay, Tails, you incompetent. You fool. Oh man, if you go too far up, I guess you get a, a skull full of spikes. Oh, hello. Uh, we can't even get up there now. Oh god, I couldn't jump in time. There was a delay. A delay, I swear. Oh, now we get the invincibility. I think when you, if you have super sonic mode at this point, you like fly through this part. Because the other thing is sonic moves like super, super fast. Thank God we're invincible for this part. Those little things would be exploding, causing us all kinds of problems. Now, I don't even... I don't think I can remember what Robotnik's form is in, in this level at all. I'm trying to think. 
I feel like the oil one was kind of a surprise, too. I don't remember that. That's like the tube in Futurama that, like, uh, sucks people up and sends them places. It's a sonic tube. Oh, jeez. Okay, we keep skipping those things. They're basically blocks you can platform on, and there's spikes that come out of them, and the spikes rotate left, right, top, bottom, left, right, top, bottom. And so you just have to sort of avoid the spikes. Okay, I guess we're down here now. Avoid the spikes if you want to uh, pass it. Are there multiple ends to every level? Because, like, you saw how much of the level we skipped by falling down a giant pit. If we'd stayed at the top, would we have ended up over here anyway? Like, I don't get it. I, I need to see a diagram, I think, of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 levels or something at some point in my life. Maybe I should look it up after playing this, because everything will be nice and fresh. I wonder what this factory actually produces. I guess Robotnik-related stuff, probably. I've yet to see a human manning it, though. Oh, God! Oh, God! You were waiting there for me, weren't you? Oh, no. That thing's not coming back, is it? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, we, we can do this. You dick! <laughs> Look at the expression on his face, too. He knew what he was doing. He was being a total jerk. Oh, no. We're, we're, we're hitting a point in the game where we're starting to die a little bit. Does not instill me with a great amount of confidence. We I think we're on, like, the near last level, though. Like... Sucker. Like, we have been playing this for a while, and actually we're reaching a point where we should wrap this video up soon, because uh, it's probably getting on the long side. But just considering this is our 200th episode, so damn it, I'm just going to play until we uh, until we get to the, the, the near final boss. Because I think we're only like a level or so off. We've come this far, people. Why would you want me to quit? Huh? I'm not a quitter. I'm a winner. Well, actually, that's not true. I do quit an awful lot of games. But usually it's for timing purposes, not because of other things. Oh man, that's gonna be problematic. Oh god, how do we get in there? Do we even need to get in there, in fact? Ugh. Can we just go up here? Is there something up there? Okay, I think we do gotta do this. Oh, there we go. Took a bit of trying. Oh god. I also like when Sonic ducks, he like actually like ducks and like covers his head. Like he's not even looking at what's happening, his eyes are just closed. They're tucked into his groin. He's just like, oh god, let it be over. Please let it be over. He's just like closing his eyes and hoping for the best. And I was about to say the best sort of happened randomly to him, because he was just flying through parts of those levels there, but nope. Had the classic generation game slow down there, which is awesome. Those things do bounce you up. Oh, you were waiting for us, protecting these ten rings, you jerk. And then we free him, and all of a sudden it's like he's our friend. Yeah, you were never our friend, buddy. Oh, another one of you. Robotnik didn't program them to turn around, though, so like if they don't get you... Then they're just like, well, I don't know, I'm only supposed to punch left, and I don't want to piss off Dr. R, so I'm just gonna... Oh, what the... what that thing... Did that turn around on us? Oh, god damn it, we died again. <laughs> I swore I thought that thing was moving to the right, but maybe it was always moving to the left. Okay, we can do this. We're not that far away from where we were, I don't think. Shoot! Oh god, that was so lucky. That was so lucky. Oh god! Get a, get a ring! You fool. Now we're all dead. Huh. Oh, I jumped over that guy! What the hell, man? Okay. Come on, Tails. We're not taking those two. Those are loser rings. We don't need those. Nah, I wish we'd taken them. It's okay. We got some rings. It doesn't really matter how many rings you take in Sonic. Here, as long as you just take a few, you're fine. Okay. Oh, jeez. That thing got us last time, didn't it? See, I have no memory for these things. Yeah! Oh, come on, dude. I think you need a ring to get past that guy. I guess you could wait until he punches. But it's not in the spirit of Sonic to wait. See? There you go. Sonic just goes through things fast. That's what he does. If you don't like it, play a different game. 
Okay, I thought the thing was moving to the to the right, so it would have sucked me towards the wall. I see now it was moving to the left to push me into the fire. Would have been helpful to notice these things um, the first time around. Tails is confused by what's happening here. That guy threw his arms away, and it's a terrible plan. Let me tell you, if you're in a fight with Sonic, your strategy should not be I'm gonna throw my arms. Because look, what's your strategy now? Look, you threw your arms away, man. You're defenseless. Defenseless. Here, I'll free ya. Stupid chipmunk or monkey or whatever you are. Oh, and that guy. Well, I guess it's a good strategy if you hit Sonic. Jeez, I almost fell in the pit there. Uh, we're good. Oh, God. These are kind of fun. You gotta, like, have some patience and, like, plan out when the next one's going. They're, like, a very, very, very simple puzzle. Tails disappeared in there. Well, I thought he went into the tube with me, and I was like, we both went in the tube. He did not come out. I guess the teleporter disintegrated him. Or maybe it's like that old movie, The Fly, and, like, Sonic and Tails got merged into, like, one creature. That movie's actually terrifying. Oh, God. All right. I feel like I feel like we're getting to the end here. I feel like we're reaching Dr. Robotnik's evil lair or whatever. Ugh. I guess the enemies do get harder because, like, in the earlier levels, as long as you curl up into a ball, you can usually just run into any enemy and you'll kill them, but now they have, like, spikes and stuff on front of them. So I guess that's the thing. Ugh. Oh, no. You gotta do this and jump off the wall. That was always a cool move. When you're, like, on the wall, you can jump off the wall, and it gives you, like, horizontal um, momentum. Oh, shoot, there's one more level. It's very rare that a stage will have three acts, actually. Usually, they're a two-act affair. Metropolis Zone 3. I can't, in fact, did any of the other stages that we complete have three acts? Oh, this is cool, too. Big, like, rotating, uh... I don't know what you call it. Oh, and we just got punched off. Well, so much for go taking the top route. Is anyone here gonna punch us aggressively? No? Okay, I guess we'll stay down here, then. Get away from me, evil starfish! Are there little animals in the starfish or not? Oh, I don't want to risk walking through that. Because I don't see an animal come out of the starfish when it blows up. Maybe they're just, like, drones. Which begs the question, if he could build drones like that, why didn't he just build all the drones? Like, what is his... What is his endgame? Oh, Beyond pissing me off. What is Robotnik's endgame? With Bowser, he wants to control the Mushroom Kingdom or something. With Robotnik... Capture all the woodland creatures, I guess. I don't know. It just seems like if you were that good at robotics, why would you need little woodland creatures? Surely you could find... Uh, you could just build an AI or something. In fact, not to spoil anything, but isn't the end boss in this game like a complete robot? Like, there's no little woodland creature in it. It's like totally a cyborg. Um, I'm almost positive. And I don't want to say a cyborg of what, because I don't want to spoil anything. But, uh... Did we talk about, like, uh... Sonic the Hedgehog's shoes? Interesting little bit of trivia. Apparently, Sonic the Hedgehog's shoes um, were copied after Michael Jackson. And that's not a joke either. Oh, are you kidding me? I jumped on him! Jumped on him. What the hell? Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, they, so they were colored like Santa Claus, and they were copied after Michael Jackson because the creators of Sonic the Hedgehog thought he was cool. Um, and that's, that's a true fact. Um, I think there was also some stuff about, like, when they first developed Sonic, he was supposed to, like... Are you... How was I supposed to get away from that? He was supposed to, like, have a rock band and, like, a girlfriend and stuff. What the hell? That guy is just camping there. <laughs> okay, let's try this way. No! Oh, God. What a dick! That was so rude of that guy to just stand there. Okay, we'll definitely take the force field. But, yeah, and he had fangs, I think. Uh, like, the, the crew that just was you know, commissioned to make Sonic, they were like, they, 
that's not, Sega was like, make us a hardcore mascot. We don't want any more of this Alex kid nonsense. They were like, okay. They made him really hardcore. Like, he's got like fangs and like a girlfriend in a rock band. I'm sure they saw him at Sega and they're like, whoa, 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 take it down a notch. Like, yeah, we said hardcore, but like, you know, there's degrees of this. It doesn't have to be like the type of, type of mascot who might cut himself, you know, like, how about we just have a guy who's fast and wears Michael Jackson's shoes? How about that? Oh, God damn it. Oh, we found a checkpoint at least. Okay. How are we going to fight this evil crab when we get to him? By doing that. Oh, come on. We got around him. What the hell? These guys are tough, man. They have, like, massive hitboxes for killing Sonic. Like, what the hell? Oh, again. <laughs> Remember the first levels when we would actually, like, get extra lives and stuff? Now we're just ping-ponging from enemy to enemy, losing all of our rings. Enjoying the ride, Tails, while I do all the work? You look like you are, buddy. Yeah, just take it easy. So you have to slow down there, otherwise the uh, guy would get us. Oh god! At least we got one ring out of that. Oh god! No! Our one ring is gone! They heard me say I was happy to have one ring and they decided to take the only thing I ever had from me. Okay. We just need one ring for protection. A single ring would, would protect us. Oh, there we go. We got three and a checkpoint. And Tails died. All the good things happened. Oh, he's back. You know, if you could fly as Tails, why wouldn't you always fly? Another funny thing you could do to your brother is when Tails is flying, they can't control him. So right now, if there was a second controller, the second player could control Tails. One funny thing you could do to your brother is if Tails died and he was flying to catch up, you could keep running really, really, really fast and uh, just sort of keep Tails from landing so your brother couldn't play the game. Oh man, this is actually pretty hard. I know how I'm not getting hit here. Yep, there we go. I actually do want to like, shoot, kill these things. Well, it's a good thing Tails is doing the damage if I'm not. Oh man, it's kind of like chance. I'm trying to like avoid these egg things. Shoot. Oh, Tails got the coin! Tails got the coin for the win! Tails, you actually did something useful, buddy. Now what's your strategy, Robotnik? You got nothing. You got nothing, buddy. So that was his party balloon, uh, that was called the party balloon tactic. You approach the enemy with a series of eggs carrying party balloons that are actually copies of yourself and you just hope for the best. It's, it's, a, it's an age old military tactic, the party balloon tactic. Sky chase zone. Oh yeah, here we go. Now we're on a plane. This is crazy. We oh we can kill these things. I thought we could stand on them. And wherever I press on my D-pad, that's where Tails flies me. So, ah, oh, damn it. There's like a turtle. A turtle with a baby turtle on top. But again, there's like a raccoon or something inside. <laughs> Maybe that chicken really wanted to be a turtle. And also, I feel like at this stage, we're not saving anything, because when we free these animals, they literally fall to their death. They're like in high orbit here. Those animals, we're not saving anyone at this point. Those were turtles. Why would you put turtles in these things and chickens in the turtles? Dr. Robotnik's strategies don't make a whole lot of sense. All right. This looks like the laziest, sleepiest turtle too. He's like, I am a very sleepy enemy turtle. Damn it. I don't think there's any checkpoints here, so we definitely don't want to die. Boom. It is pretty satisfying blowing all these guys up, though. Such like a, such like a pleasant sounding song. It's like, oh, nothing could go wrong now. We're in the sonic plane and everything's going to be just a-okay. Meanwhile, uh... This, like, huge airship with, like, jets and probably dangerous firepower is showing up. Now, the music is very pleasant and serene. Jet birds trying to kill us. But they are no match for Sonic's ability to spin into a ball. Okay, we'll let that guy go. Because he's basically because he's too low that I can't get to him. Ah! Oh, not due to any sense of, like, altruism. Kill the baby turtles. 
Baby Turtle Pirates Pilots. Like, how do you... That turtle at the bottom. I can't even get to him. What are you supposed to do? He's literally useless. Do they know that when they put him in the game? That baby turtle is just nothing. Wing Fortress Zone. Here we go, Tails. Tails, buddy, you got shot down. What? What happened? <laughs> we just fell to our death. I think I'm supposed to jump off the plane. Okay, how about a little warning? Jeez. Okay, see you, Tails. I hope you die. <laughs> hope everything's okay with you, buddy. But you're probably dead. Probably not gonna make it. Okay, this is the last level, I believe. Unless I'm mistaken, unless I'm forgetting something here. But we don't wanna go too fast, because instant deaths can happen to us here. Whoa! hey -o. There we go, that was fun. Oh, a chicken! And it was actually piloted by a bird. Holy crap, what just happened there? Man, whenever they rocket you to high speeds on this level, I am like paranoid that we're about to die. Ah, oh god. Right underneath the jets. This is where you want to hang out as a video game hero. Let me tell you. Oh, God. I'm afraid to jump into those jets. I think they don't hurt you, but I'm afraid to try. Ugh. It's, this, this sounds like the music you would get after you beat the game, not when you're on the last level. Like, there's still, there's still level to do, but it sounds very congratulatory. Now it sounds a bit more sinister, like we're actually fighting a boss. Whee! Come my way, chickens! Chicken men! We're up to 70. Can we get an extra life on this level? That would be awesome. Oh, shoot! We don't want to fall down there, though. Oh, there we go. That worked out. Is there anything over here? Like coins? There's fast running shoes. I don't know if I want them, though. We're at 89 rings! I keep calling them coins, but we're at 89. Oh, there's an extra life right there. Oh, God. Oh, and it fell! Yeah, we got an extra life! Extra life, baby! Whoops. I wanna. I still want to try and get on top of that thing, though. Okay, hold on. Ugh. Why am I not able to land on that? Okay, I guess you can't. Oh, we got an extra life. I'd say that's a victory in and of itself. Oh, chicken man! We also got a checkpoint. Oh, eight more, eight more rings, eight more rings. Oh, this is five more. Oh, we're so close. We're like counting ring by ring now. Go my way, chicken man. Oh no! <laughs> that almost ruined our weekend. Oh, the chicken man. No! Oh, oh! Oh, we're so close! Chicken man, no! Yes, we did it! It's like tantalizing us with all the rings that we flew past. Jeez. There's like ring there's like a ring thing over there too. Also, why why are all the power-ups? We haven't talked about this, but why are the power-ups like computer screens? What's the significance of that, I wonder? Um, I think am I about to run out of time? Because like the music is going really fast here. What does this do? Definitely want this. Maybe I only have like four minutes or something to beat this level. Oh, chicken man, no! Um, do I go in here? No? Okay, so I go over here. Whee! Oh, this is fun. You have to hold on to these things and press the button when you want to break them off. I remember this. Whee! Oh, shoot! Oh, God, I thought I died. I thought I was just straight up dead. Um, oh no, have I gone back like a significant distance in the game? I, I've totally been here before. Uh oh. Maybe we will run out of time in this level. Come on. I want to get on these things, I remember. Okay, there we go. There's our checkpoint. We've made it back to our checkpoint. You know, that's a bad sign. When you're making it back to the checkpoint. Oh, hello. These things were in here last time, were they? I guess they were, and I must have missed them. Well, I guess, uh... There's tons of, tons of stuff in this level. I don't remember this level being very long at all. In fact, I don't even remember this level, to be totally honest. 
I just thought you, like, went to the end and killed Robotnik. I don't remember there being, like, a whole, whole stage you had to get through. Whee! Okay. Oh, let's just do this again. Th this part's fun, anyway. I like doing that. Okay, now... We want to land on this thing. Land on this thing. Land on this thing. Oh, God. Oh, no! No! <laughs> Damn it. Oh, the, the platform went away. Okay, that's okay. Now we know what we're doing. Out of my way, chicken man. There's a, there's a fat egg man with my name written on him or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm supposed to kill him, basically. That didn't come out right, but you know what I mean. There's <laughs> a fat egg man with my name written on him. What does that even mean? It's like a very odd way of, like, uh, saying that I'm supposed to kill him. Whee! Nothing. Okay. Aw, oh, you chicken man! You damn chicken man didn't even see you there. He was... He was so chicken, he was camouflaged into the walls. There we go. Okay, now... We just gotta take our time with this part, and we're not gonna go until we see the platform emerge this time. Oh shoot, I think we waited too long. Oh, we made it, thank god. Oh god! Oh no! No, don't let this be the end of me! Holy shit! Oh god, they were toying with me there. That was so scary. That was like a panic moment. Oh man. Any level where, like, it has instant death through pits, my palms get sweaty in any video game, but in Sonic especially, because they launch you at high speeds into things, and you're just like, please don't let this be the end. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you that, uh, that I'm supposed to do this. Oh my god. I need to find a way into this, like, spaceship already. Oh! Speak of the devil! Oh, hey, it's Robotnik! I know you! I've been beating you up. Quite a bit, actually. Oh my god, he actually wants to fight me, and he himself is not gonna do it. Ow. Oh. Okay, I think I remember this. You gotta, like, jump on these platforms, and then when this thing opens up, you just gotta wail on it. No. No, get on the platform! <laughs> At least we got one hit in. Oh god! Oh no, 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 no. Get a ring. Ah. Ah. Okay, we got two hits in. Oh, get the ring, get the ring! Oh no, the ring went away! Oh god. No! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, hopefully it gives us a few rings before it puts us back in there. Yeah, it does. Okay, five. That'll do. Five's all we need. Again, remember when we had so many lives? We were up to like 12 at one point, I think. Felt pretty good about ourselves. Now we got this jerk taking all our lives. Okay. Okay, we got two hits on it. Let's just settle for two. I just gotta get back on a platform here. Oh, shit. Oh, one hit, that's pretty good. This platform will take me the way I need to go. Ah. Another one, yes! Oh no! Damn it. The problem with Sonic is you can't just duck and stop because he has like momentum, so he does like a little spin roll. Oh, we got two in there. That was something. Oh man. He definitely does not have Mario's prowess when it comes to platforming. Yes, we did it! Suck it, Robotnik! Robotnik! Let me through. What's over here, I wonder? Yes, an extra life, baby! Yeah, baby! Yeah! Whoa. He's on a spaceship that's running away. Okay, I'm not in control anymore. Jump! 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 Dude, you just stood there! You, you made no effort to chase him! Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm also not in control. I don't know how Tails didn't die before, but he seems to have a rocket booster on his ship. Tails, catch up to him, man! I'll jump onto the 
thing. Just let me do it. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a great plan. This couldn't possibly go wrong. Um, now what? It's, this is just a cutscene, I guess. We're being wowed into the world of Sonic. Oh, we're going into orbit. Sonic would literally just be, die in a vacuum of space. He would not still be around. Unless he is a very, very, very tenacious hedgehog. The Death Egg Zone. Wow, guys, we made it to the last level of Sonic 2. What a, what a way to celebrate our 200th episode. Um, okay, I'm going to like play this level and try and beat Robotnik. I'm probably going to die, but that's okay because we made it through the whole game. So let's go ahead and start wrapping this video up here, guys. So first of all, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, he's fighting Metal Sonic. It's an evil Sonic the Hedgehog made out of metal and hatred. If you touch the spikes on the back of his head, he will kill you. You kind of have to like hit him like that. Man, as a kid, I found this guy so hard. And actually, he just killed me, so it's not like he's any easier. They don't give you any rings on this one. It's one hit death. Um, but anyway, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Definitely a game you must play before you die. It is one of the classic platformers of the retro gaming era. It has a lot of charm, a lot of fun to it. You've seen many of the levels um, as I've played them here for you. But, you know, with Sonic, as I said, for many of the levels, like... You kind of have to just explore them. Like, there's so much there's so much going on in every level. And even as an adult, I can't say that I've seen um, every level myself. Get him, get him, get him! <laughs> I'm hanging near the side here in case he jumps like that. Oh, God, and he shoots spikes! It's constantly new stuff. I was going to say, in case he jumps in the middle, I can, like, still avoid him. But anyway, yes, this is a game that you must play before you die. I firmly believe that. Um, I don't know if you agree with me or not. You can let me know in the comments down below. But either way, um, guys, again, episode 200, we, we've had so much fun going through all these games. And I'm looking forward. I have a lot of really fun games planned for the, the next batch, um, the next sort of 100 games. I have some fun, because we're in the 200s now. I have some fun sequels planned for us which I think will be pretty suitable, considering, again, we're in the, the 200s range. And then he shoots spikes, I think. So we're gonna stand like this. Yes! Suck it, Metal Sonic. Now I don't know what he's gonna do. Okay. Yes, we killed him! We beat Metal Sonic! That's actually, I'm, I'm shocked we made it this far. I'm impressed by myself. Um, oh yeah! Oh, what the hell? He's running as fast as Sonic. No way. No way can a chubby man outrun Sonic. And now this is the last boss. It is a uh, giant robot, robot dick. And it's, he's actually really hard because you have to like hit him in the gut, but time your your jumps for when both of his hands are like not revealed. It's actually brutal. I've, I've only done it like uh, maybe like a couple times in my whole life. But anyway, um, I'm proud with where we got in this game. Um, guys, do you think this is a game that you should play before you die? You can let me know in the comments down below, and maybe if you have some fun memories of Sonic the Hedgehog, you can um, share them with all the internet. But uh, guys, yeah, um, thanks for sticking with me for these 200 games, and here's here's to the next 100. Here's hoping we have lots of fun times, lots of fun experiences, and lots of, I don't know, fun memories. Until next time, my friends, take care of yourselves, and uh... Peace! Ah, so I was being a little too impatient with this guy. Oh, look, he targets you and stuff. Um, you actually kind of have to, like, wait for him to, like... Oh, God! <laughs> you kind of have to wait for him to, like, reveal his gut to you. So you don't actually have to hit him in the, uh, in the arms. You gotta hit him in the... Actually, it's not really his gut. It's more of his, uh, sensitive groin region. This has got to also be the height of hubris. He uh, built a robot of himself. A giant Eggman. Just for reference, how many bosses do you have to headbutt in the groin? Jeez, how many hits does this guy take? I, my heart can't take much more of this. This is so nerve-wracking, guys. A single hit and you're dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, we got him! Yes! Go down, Robotnik! We did it! I can't believe I actually did it! Oh my god.
Oh, that took a lot of patience. Oh, we freed all the little animals. And tails, too. What are we? They're all staring at the sun. Or are they staring at the explosion of Robotnik's evil airship? A little bird is getting in a plane with tails or something? I would expect to see more Sonic in this, uh, this little thing. It's just tails flying around in a field with little birds. This is, this is the epilogue, guys. This is what we were fighting for. This, oh, Sonic is falling out of low orbit. <laughs> I guess they're gonna go capture him. I just think the, the heat that he would generate, he would burn up on re-entry. It's like, yeah, he defeated Robotnik, but he literally burned up on re-entry. Now all the little Blue Jays are flying with us. Now they're our friends. Yeah, put you guys in a mecha suit, and the first thing you want to do is murder me. But once you don't have that, you're all of a sudden very subservient. Hmm, I see what's going on here. Well, we did it, guys. We did it. Here's to 200 games. Hoo-yah!